Hey guys, it's Yaya. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a super simple triple whipped strawberry face and body butter. Using the benefits of strawberry seed oil, this butter is super lightweight, easily absorbed, and perfect for the summer. Okay, so let's jump right in. Today's recipe is 100% vegan. Go ahead and screenshot the formula so that you can go along with this video with me or so you can make it later on for yourself. Today's sponsor is Oz of Organics. Please go check the description box below to learn more about all of their ingredients that you can use for your own DIYs. They have gifted me some amazing oils and butters to use today and I'm really excited to jump right into this video. So the first ingredient is gonna be mango butter. You guys have seen me use this numerous times. It's one of my favorite butters. Easy to use and super lightweight it is the perfect base because it will not clog your pores it absorbs quickly and it has little to no smell so you can use whatever butter you like just make sure it's one that works well for your skin especially if you're going to place this on your face okay moving along we're going to melt down our butter this is going to be the only part that requires heat because we want to try to preserve our unique oils as much as we can okay while our mango butter is melting down, let's go ahead and move on to our oils. The first oil I'm using is kukui nut oil because it's super lightweight. It absorbs super easily and I also just love the benefits of the kukui nut oil as well. So it's one of my favorite oils to use as far as a base goes. Our key ingredient is the unrefined strawberry seed oil. You can use this to lighten blemishes and even out the skin tone. It's very powerful antioxidant. So it's actually perfect for the summertime, especially if you're in the sun a lot and you're exposed to UVA rays, it can definitely reverse that damage, okay? Um, also, it has a beautiful, sweet aroma, a very, very light, fragrance so you don't have to worry about adding any extra essential oils or fragrances to your butter. Next up we have the unrefined pomegranate oil. This oil complements the strawberry seed oil very well because it has a strong aroma and this very sweet uh, fruity smell that is just beautiful. So I also chose this oil to protect the skin and also to reverse damage. Last but not least, I'm adding Abyssinian oil because it is also lightweight, low odor, easily absorbs into the skin, and it's also non-greasy, so I felt like it would complement the other oils very well. You can use one, two, or all of these oils to make your face and body butter because they absorb quickly, they're non-clogging, and they are perfect for the facial skin and just for the overall body, okay? So once you combine your oils, just gonna give it a quick stir just to make sure they're completely dissolved and that they have combined and blended well with each other um, to create one homogeneous solution. This can also be used as a face oil by itself. These rich oils are filled with vitamins and omega fatty acids, things used to really heal the skin um, it can also be used as a makeup remover as well as other benefits. So definitely give it a try, you guys. So once our mango butter has completely melted down, I'm going to let it cool for a little bit because like I said, I wanted to just limit the amount of heat I'm exposing to these very beautiful oils. Um, they can be exposed to heat. It's not a big deal, but I'm just saying for this particular formula, I just wanted to uh, reduce the heat as much as I could. So once the mango butter cooled down to touch, then I went on and added the oils and then I blended them in well and then I'm going to cover it up and place it in the freezer for maybe nine to ten minutes it didn't take long because I allowed my mango butter to cool down before I put it in there okay all right once you take your butter out of the freezer it should be ready to whip up I'm going to go ahead and just scrape the size of mine and go ahead and just mix it together um, you don't have to do this you can go straight into blending but I just like to make sure mine is smooth first this will allow it to whip up faster and then also be just a lot smoother okay so like i said in the beginning we're going to triple whip this butter i'm super excited to do this i have triple whipped my butters before um but i don't think i've ever showed this in a video before so this will be our first time so i'm starting off with the first whip and basically it's just like you normally whip your butter you're just going to whip it up after it comes out of the freezer so what happens is a lot of times we see after it's whipped and we're like, oh, this is the beautiful, gorgeous texture and it's going to keep this beautiful silkiness. And a lot of times that's not what happens when it comes to using um, raw butters. They uh, tend to uh, change in texture as they settle. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to allow this to sit for maybe a good 10 minutes and then we're going to come back and check 
and see how it has settled. So after about a good 10 minutes or so, I checked the butter and it definitely had settled a little bit, um, but I knew that it could settle a little bit more. So I let it settle for another 10 to 15 minutes before checking on it again. And this is what it was like. It, it was airy and fluffy, but I knew I could whip in a little bit more air into this. Um, the more air you whip into it, the more fluffy and light it's going to be. Um, so I definitely wanted to whip it some more so that it wouldn't be as dense as it is right now. After whipping for the second time, you can see that the butter has expanded. The more air that you put into it, the more the the more volume you're gonna have as far as the um, butter goes. It's gonna get fluffier and lighter and then just bigger in general. <laughs> um, so yeah, after the second one, I let it sit again. Uh, and this time after checking it after 10 minutes, it definitely wasn't as dense as it was before and it had a lot more air and it was a lot more silky and pretty. Although I was happy with this consistency I wanted to stay committed and do the third whip so I went on with the triple whip and I was very happy I did I could definitely feel the thickness of the butter as it begins to continue to settle but it just wasn't as dense it was a lot more airy and silky um, and I definitely love the results of that so this time however I did not wait for it to settle I went on and placed it into my container because for one it would be easier to put into the container and then I wanted it to settle in the container you can also pipe it into the container if you want it to just settle a little before you pour it in so either way is fine you can do it either way um, but if you're just looking to have that silky finish uh, then you probably want to pour it in before it gets to that final final phase I am obsessed with these results. This is such a beautiful butter. This is my favorite part just pouring it into the container. Um, however, this is not the final texture you guys this is not it i just want to let you guys know if you're trying to get this silky looking texture that's kind of free flowing like that more than likely you're going to have to add water create an emotion to get some kind of lotion or cream okay i just want to make that as realistic for you guys as possible okay um but we will let this settle and come back and check on it so you guys can get more of an idea of what your final texture and consistency will look like for this butter so this was maybe a good 15 20 minutes in here but that's still not the final texture um, so here i think we were still a good 25 minutes in and i decided to um, just add a little bit of mica for any of those who are looking for a little shimmer or you want to add just a little uh, aesthetic to your body butter then you can definitely use mica mica gives such a pretty shimmer and it reflects light really well so it's going to give you this beautiful natural glow so um definitely use some mica if you want to just get a little extra off to your body butter i did not measure the mica i just tried to get as close to the strawberry face cream that i made in the other video so this video has two parts there's the face and body butter and then there's the anti-wrinkle uh, face cream so I'm not sure which one of these will come out first, but uh, I was trying to get the colors to match as, as, as closely as possible. And I think I was able to do that with this mica. It came out so pretty. I really, really love this color. Also know that you can add any essential oils that you would like to add once the butter is cool, um, but you definitely don't need it. The strawberry seed oil already smells amazing as well as the pomegranate oil, which definitely complements it. So uh, it smells beautiful, you guys. It's very light smell, sweet, light aroma, and you really don't need much after that, especially if you're using it for your face. You probably want something that's odorless or just has a very light smell. So let's check our butter one more time before we end the video. You can see here that it definitely has settled a little bit more and it is still light, fluffy, and beautiful. It's a lot thicker than before and I love that. I absolutely love how it has formed and I love the final phase. Guys, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. All right, you guys, that is it. I'm hoping this was a very simple formula for you guys to follow along with using some very unique oils and butters. No water phase, no emotions, just a simple whipped butter for you guys. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, you can ask any questions, leave any comments down below. I love to hear from you guys. I try to answer when I can, okay? Um, also, I just wanna thank Oslo Organics 
Grace once again for sponsoring this video. You guys go check out their website and show them some love. Thank them for sponsoring this video so I can bring you guys this awesome content. As always, the full list of ingredients as well as other information is down in the description box below. I try to answer as many questions as I can. Please do not sleep on the description box, you guys. Go check it out for more information. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because it's the only, only, only way you can keep up with the videos I'm coming out with. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.